Hello again. Glad to see you can make it. To my very interesting arena run, because if it wasn't interesting, why would I be playing it? I kept that, I wish I kept the ID too, but. Warlock, the easiest way to get the most amount of cards out at the most at the most efficient time. Hunter, the fastest way to deal damage. Hopefully he can't do damage and drop cards, because that would be bad. Good turn. Better turn. More value. He has a crap ton of cards in his hand, by the way. I've played two cards to his one card so far. Holy crap. <laughs> well, I can't say that he is out of deadly shots because this is Arena, so. I don't know. Do I play the Void Terror, make him deal with it? Or do I... Can I make it a 4-4? That would be more useful. Or do I just do this? And draw my M. Bringing myself kind of low for a hunter to finish me off. Not the smartest idea, but not a lot I can do. Also, this combo with that is very useful. Well played. He's getting a good value out of these cards. Hopefully he doesn't have another deadly shot. That would be very depressing. He has a kill command, but that would not combo well with this. It wouldn't combo at all, actually. I could have uh, demon fired this, but would not have had anything good to put on the board then. Oh, hunter's mark? Yes, of course. Who else would have thought? At least he's dropping cards now. Granted, he's at the same one I am right now. Jokes on you. Jokes on him. Something. I had a plan and then I brain froze. Uh, demon fire. Into a turtle. Jokes on you. I have my own turtle. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. Aha. <laughs> seven to seven on the board versus not. But one one isn't really a card. It's kind of like a space holder. Which is useful. That could get big really fast. Thought, please? Nope. However, if I give him something to deal with, he will have to use it. No more demons in my hands, so no reason to play it. That. This now becomes a big threat. Or a semi-big threat. Fortunate enough for him, I think I only have a Voidwalker in my deck, but last in my deck is a demon. But this 
might not turn out well because he's got a big burst of damage this turn. You just taught, punch me in the face and probably not regret doing it. However, Ben can play my Molten Giant, which you can't not control because you're not a priest. Joke's on you. I do have to think about doggies though. Doggies are always a problem. He's broke, there we go. Did you guys know that this thing broke off? I did not know that. Ooh. Well, you called my bluff. And I do... Oh, okay. Thinking time. Not doing time. Thinking time, boys. I can... Clear most of the board. While having a good energy. Go into this. We go into that. Have to go into that, otherwise... Just too much damage. Some damage is too much to keep on the board no matter what. So do I put a harpy on the board? Yes I do. Bigger threat is bigger threat. Five to six. Depends on how big his cards are, of course. He might have another hunter's mark in his hand or even an explosive trap, but that wouldn't trigger too much damage if it was an explosive trap. The freezing trap, however, that'd be pretty decent. A bit too late on it, though. Doggies? Doggies? I'm still seeing it. I don't see why he wouldn't. With the buzzard. I'm not trying to make these games long, although, also, I, I just feel like people want to take their time with their turns. I don't usually take too much time with mine. At least I don't think I do. Most I've ever had of a turn is probably like a minute long. Which is still kind of long, but you gotta consider a few things in there. Huh. This is the greatest time to be a druid. Just swipe. This is effective board play, by the way. Um, can I keep it? It takes six damage no matter what. Or it would take. Okay, let's see how we do. I have to use this no matter what. But it clears. It doesn't matter. Might as well do this. Do this. Do this. They had value. I gave it a plus. Put this out of killing range. Doggies are very useful now. I didn't kill the buzzard, assuming he didn't have them because he didn't use them last turn. Which is not the best mindset to have, but. Looks like he's hoping for a draw at this point. It's a really crappy card. It's pretty much an Elven Archer that gives you another card. Minus the actual Battle Cry, which is actually really good from the Elven Archer. In my opinion. He has a lot of taunts. However, I have the most important taunt. I was about to say why not, but then I can't play all of them anyway. Alternatively, okay, let's see how it is. Get rid of the buzzer no matter what. Keep the taunt. So I have to do this. This. I could keep my, my doggy. I 
I have to keep the taunt because I don't know what he has in his hand. He could have a King Crush and that'd be really bad. Um, how much am I willing to take is the question. Because keeping it at one health is fine as long as he has to use a card for it because this is a lot of value on the already. Uh, yes, Wall Giant, better idea here. Doesn't really matter which way I go into this because it'll die no matter what. Well, actually, pretty long turn, so I apologize. Not the cards you wanted to hit. Not at all, actually. I have 18 damage on the board. Not lethal at all, but still can be dangerous. This is going to look pretty stupid, but... Actually, that did not look that stupid, because everything else didn't make any sense to play out. Because at least this way I have... lots of good damage, pretty much. And the only way you can kill the Fairy Dragon is a... a double shot? What is it called? Multi-shot? I have lethal. No. No? This is awkward because I only have 11, 14 damage. Kill the turtle. Kill this thing. I could have put a 6 6 on the board, but I'm just going to keep it at this. If you can only do a little bit of damage, I'm fine with that. He has a, there literally has to be King Crush for him to be making use out of it. Even Hopper wouldn't help. The Ak is not bad for him though. He can't even play King Crush now. So this is good. Still not lethal, by the way. Which is really a pain in the ass. I'm getting there, I swear. Uh, it does matter how I do this. Actually, no, it doesn't because I still. Wait. If I kill it, it does. It, yes, it does matter. Okay. Twelve enough. Assuming everything stays on the board. Well Gruel is a really good card, but it needs to be situationally good. Man, these long games are killing me. That game had to have been at least 10 minutes. Yeah. Holy crap. People love to play the thinking games. So guys, do tell me, what is your favorite deck? Because I honestly don't have a favorite deck, except for Arena Preferences, that's just bias of good cards. Which, I don't know, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. What's your favorite deck? Do tell though. The closest saver I have is Hunter, but that's because of how amazing its card draw can be. I, I don't know if the same can be said about anything else, but Hunter definitely has really good card draw potential. This is a really bad hand. For like everything. It's a little better. Came in a little bit late though.
Doggy. I can't even deal with you right now. Actually, I kinda can, kinda can't. That'd be such a waste. See if he answers like oh, I think he's going to. My turn four is pretty decent. Not the best because I don't have any other demons to follow it up, but Alright. I thought. Oh. Well played. Forces me into something I don't want to do, but let's just hope it's not the Sunwalker because that's probably my only means. Alright, that's fine. Maybe I'm okay with it being a Harpy too. Smith, I would like to keep. Sunwalker and Smith are cards that I want to keep because their value is amazing. 4 5 and 4 6 seem like they're the exact same thing, but. You can take that one more hit, it's definitely worth it. So many options. I couldn't leave that card on the board, that would be stupid. A 4-3, no way. If I get one shot in my face, that's so much value. It's actually not a bad turn. He's pretty much assuming that I don't have a good demon in my hand, or a demon at all, which is the case. Smith takes one shot from this and a backstab. Or a combo eviscerate with a uh, backstab as well. So. Either way, it takes two cards. Does not take one card to kill us. Or an assassinate, but most arena rogues don't have assassinate. Because it is not that worth of a card. Ooh, that's a really good turn, actually. You should, sir. Or madam. Problem being, Rogue has the potential to rush me down after I run out of taunts. It's a very strong card, by the way. If I can't get rid of that, that card becomes way stronger. Power of Rogue? No, that would be smart. Or if he doesn't have it, I'm, I'm stupid. Really good turn, by the way. Oh no, he's doing really well. Hey look, my second Sunwalker. And I don't think he's going to do one damage to my face unless he has an Eviscerate, which, or a Shiv, which is possible, but I don't see why he wouldn't use it on the board. Archaeologist. Very nice name, by the way. Does that mean he studies farts? Or he... Archaeologist. Why am I thinking it's this? I'm done. I'm done. And then bam, bam, and then bam. Either way, he keeps that card. That's just without even using his hand at all. Shiv? What a turn. Betrayal. Damn it. Also a good card. He's playing around the card, like the actual death rattle. I haven't seen people do that. Most people are like, oh, death rattle, let me just use its 5 5 abilities. However, it is a random card. So it could be as Yeti too. And he could have not put the Yeti up and. There's Assassinate. And there's the game, because I can't. I don't have any taunts.
I don't have any taunts, so that was both my sunwalkers. Best case scenario. He still has four damage though. I'm just bad at math because I didn't see that for some reason. I don't know if he sees it or not, but if he's a nice person, he'll just finish me off with just a punch. Okay. Not the worst arena run, not the best arena run. Really awkward duck, I think. Not really good at making. Lots of warlock slash. The three decks I had to choose from were pretty awkward. Five wins, not bad though. Is that enough? Almost. I can't do math. Cool. Uh, well, that was. Pretty fun. I'll see you guys in the next few videos. Have fun. Till then.